welcome back to another tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. So I'm starting off with this Pixie Beauty Jasmine Oil Blend all over the face and I'm applying this with a brush. We're going to go in with this moisturizer and then we're also going to do an eye cream and I'm taking this eye cream along the laugh lines as well. This is going to help me hydrate everything and then I'm also going in with the hydrating primer just to fill in any pores. taking a tart liquid highlight in stunner and I'm applying this to the high points of the cheeks. We want a very nice dewy skin look for today so I'm going ahead and applying this before doing any foundation. Just to correct underneath the eyes, you can see on Mapri she does have some discoloration underneath the eyes so we're taking the Visanti BO2 corrector and I'm applying this with a brush and then blending it out. So for the foundation, I want the skin to still peek through, so I'm taking a very small amount of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm applying that all over with a brush. I'm going to be taking the Derma Blend Concealer. I love this concealer. I need to find another concealer, but this has been my go-to for so long. But I'm applying this underneath the eyes just to create an elongated look. And then I'm going to add a little bit down the nose and then between the brows. I'm going to blend this out with the blender and instantly her face looks really nice and highlighted. I set the whole face with a powder. Use any powder that you like and then I'm going to set the under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me powder in fair light and then while that's sitting there I'm going to go in with a bronzer this one is by Visanti and this really helps warm up the skin and I can apply this all over just to create like that sun-kissed glow and then I'm also applying this down the sides of the nose just to act like a contour for the cheeks we wanted something really nice and dewy so I'm taking this Becca shimmer blush and I'm applying that to the cheeks and then also to the tip of the nose. Once I dust away the under eye powder I'm going to be taking Prosecco Pop from Becca as well and applying this to the cheeks and down the nose. So the skin is looking really nice and dewy with that shimmery blush and now we're going to move on to the eyes. Taking this Tarte palette I'm going to apply these two brown shades into the crease Now underneath the brows, I'm just taking the highlight that we used on the cheeks and this is just going to bring a little bit more life to the under eye and to the inner corner. Taking a little bit more of a purple tint with a fluffy brush, I'm applying this into the crease as well just to deepen it. I'm going to be taking this shimmer shade and I'm taking this with a smaller brush, applying this all over the lids. And if you feel like you went a little too high, like I went right here, I'm taking that same brush that had the soft brown on it and just blending out the tops. I wanted to add more of like a mauve purple pink that you see in the jewelry, so I'm taking this shade right here and running that through the crease. On the bottoms, I'm taking that purple shade again and then I'm underneath this, I'm going to be layering the brown that we put into the crease. So now it's really nice and rounded and we're going to go in with this product which is by RK Beauty. It's a black adhesive liner. This is my first time trying this and they sent me this so I was really excited to try it. It's a black eyeliner but that's also a lash glue and this worked really nicely. I was really interested to see how this was going to work. The pen itself is really really nice and I'm going to be taking their lashes in bossy and just apply that and literally I added no glue to the lashes. I just put them straight onto that liner and they stuck on pretty well. One thing I will say is you have to wait until the liner dries down completely uh, because it does stick a little bit to the top lid. That's just what I found. Because I was filming, I didn't have time for the glue to completely dry down, so I went over it with a Kat Von D liner, but the lashes did stay put, which was amazing. In the crease, I just deepened it a little bit more because once I had the lashes on, I could really see what's going on with the eyes, and then I moved on to the lips. I started off with this Visanti lipstick, which was a little too bright for me, and I wanted to bring in those warm tones that were in the jewelry, so I went in with dose of colors aftermath lipstick and this was so stunning the jewelry is absolutely stunning it's from shimmer collection you guys need to check them out on instagram and this is the final look i love how everything turned out it's so dreamy and so wearable but smoky at the same time 
the lashes and the beautiful lash adhesive glue by RK Beauty it was really fun to play with as well. I think I might have a code with them. If you guys are interested, I will leave all that information in the description box down below. And make sure you guys follow me as always on Instagram and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Please join our little family here. And I think we're almost at 9,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you to each and every one of you that watch my videos and leave a comment and also give me a thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you in my next one.